Welcome to Code Basics coding tutorial. Today we are covering bar chart in Matplotlib. If you Google bar chart and look at some of the sample images, you see a chart like this where each of the values are represented as a vertical bar. In finance world, bar charts are used to represent measures like revenue. And we are going to create charts similar to this in Matplotlib today. As usual, I have launched Jupyter Notebook and imported a Matplotlib and NumPy module initially. And now we are going to use some static data. Say I have revenues for some of the major US tech companies in these two lists, okay? And now I want to create a bar chart out of it. So the way you do it is you just call plt.bar function Okay, and in argument, you, you want to pass company and revenue, but the thing is, it won't honor string values here. So what you have to do is, you have to create a Y position, all right? And you would do that by doing uh, np.a range length of your company list. So let me put this into a separate cell and let's see what Y pose looks like. This is simple NumPy array with 0, 1, 2, 3 value. Now you can use a simple list also, but there is a reason I'm using NumPy array and we'll cover that a little later. Uh, now in my bar function, I can use Y pose because it is a list of numbers and not the strings. And when I plot a chart, it looks something like this. Now, these bars represent revenues of each of these companies, but here I have values. So now to replace these values with these labels, you have to use X ticks function. So you will just call plt dot X ticks and there are two arguments to it, okay? The first argument is your y, y position and your second argument is your company list. What this will do is it will replace these values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 with the corresponding elements in this second list. So zero will be replaced by Google, one will be replaced by Amazon and so on. When you run that, you now see Google, Amazon, MSFT, and Facebook's revenue plotted as a bar chart. Now, let's add some X and Y label just to make this chart little fancier. So these are revenues in uh, US billion dollars. And uh, actually Y label is revenues and X label is the company name. So we already have a company name, so I don't need to write it. I will set a title, US Tech Stocks. And now my chart looks better. Okay, now what if I want to plot two different measures? So here, this particular measure is revenue. So let me add a label for it. So revenue and plt dot legend. Now let's say I have profit numbers for each of these companies. Okay, so I have profit number also and I want to plot profit on a same chart. So in finance, people typically plot side by side bar chart for revenue and profit so that they get a comparison of how much company is earning and how much they are how much revenues they are generating and how much is their actual profit after deducting expenses so you can simply call plt dot bar once again with y position and profit this time the label is profit now when you do this, what is happening is 
it is plotting the profit but it is being plotted in a same chart you can see that same bar contains profit and revenue both i want to generate side by side bars for this the reason this is happening is because the y position the uh, the sorry the x position is actually the same for both of these i should have named this as x position actually okay so let me just, just quickly change it okay so the x position is same uh, I need to make it a little different by subtracting some number from it. So what I'm doing is now X position for my revenue is uh, 1 minus 0 0.2. So it will be like 0 0.8. Like here it will be see minus 0 0.2, then 0 0.8 and 1.8 and so on. Okay. Now that is one reason why I created NumPy array because if you have simple list then it, this will be hard but if you have NumPy array then x pose minus 0 0.2 is going to create a new array with four elements and 0 0.2 will be subtracted from each of these elements okay when I run this I see a little better chart though not perfect but at least the bars are separate to control the width of these bars, you can call a width function. So I'm just going to set width of these bars to be 0 0.4. And when I do that, now I see a better chart. So here I have Google's revenue and their profit, Amazon's revenue. You see, Amazon is a weird company, by the way. They don't generate any profit. They keep on increasing their revenue, but the profit is like really small. And I never understood Amazon, uh, MSFT and Facebook. Okay. Now the last thing we want to cover is horizontal bar chart. Sometimes people want to draw the, the bar chart, not in a vertical fashion, but in a horizontal fashion. So for that, there is a function called bar h bar h means horizontal bar okay and let's just run this and see what happens here i need to change this to vitex so that uh, company names appear here and you can see that you can generate a horizontal char charts like this okay so that's all we had for this tutorial uh i want to mention the same thing again that by just watching this tutorial you are not going to learn anything you have to download this jupyter notebook which i have provided in the video description below and just play with it play with different properties try to use this in uh, any sample project and that would be the real way of learning uh, programming okay and you can look at matplotlib's uh, documentation for your bar chart check out different properties and just play with it just to get a feel of it all right thank you very much for watching goodbye